firefighters from Lethbridge and other communities will pause tomorrow to pay tribute to a beloved colleague who died on Sunday. Fire Captain Johnny Nander died of cancer, an illness related to his job as a firefighter. A funeral service scheduled for tomorrow will include a procession of emergency vehicles and a last alarm ceremony. Terry Vote reports. Flags at fire stations throughout the city have been lowered as a tribute to Captain John Enander, a 33-year veteran of the Lethbridge Fire Department. He died Sunday at the age of 62, about six months after being diagnosed with cancer. Dedicated, great, uh, just a great co-worker. Captain Dennis Gulovich says he joined the Lethbridge Fire Department on the same day. But John was older and often shared his life experiences with the younger firefighters. Didn't want to be the center of attention, but he was easily became it because of his stories and his uh, fun that he would have around the fire hall. He certainly lifted the spirits of, of the guys at the station all the time. Co-workers say Enander had a sense of humor that was second to none, but he took his job seriously. He was considered an Iron Man. We probably never missed a day uh, for the first 25 years he was on the job. But the job took a toll due to occupational exposure to smoke, chemicals, exhaust. Firefighters have a 100% higher risk of developing some forms of cancer. Platoon Chief Ken Mercer has been fighting fires for nearly 40 years. We could see the smoke and we knew we weren't supposed to breathe that, but there's a lot of other things out there all the time that, uh, that hurt us. It is like losing a brother. Firefighters often refer to each other as being part of a brotherhood. Tomorrow morning they'll have a short parade and funeral procession to remember one of their brothers who they say always came to work with a smile on his face and who always cared for others before himself. The firefighters' procession will start at the Legion on Mayor McGrath Drive tomorrow morning. It will also stop here at the number three fire hall, where they'll have a special ceremony. Firefighters say it'll be a fine tribute to a fine guy. Terry Vote, CTV News, Lethbridge. The procession will start at 10.30 and will go, as Terry mentioned, from the Legion then to the Coast Hotel, where the funeral service will be held. Well, more than 1,200 people will take to Henderson Lake Park tomorrow in support of those who have lost their lives in the workplace over the past year. Organizers say registration for the Steps for Life walk has more than doubled this year. Two workers in Lethbridge lost their lives in workplace-related deaths in 2012. Most recently, Curtis Dodd, who was killed when a refrigeration unit fell on him during construction of the new University of Lethbridge residence building. The walk is aimed at raising money and awareness about the importance of workplace safety. We want everyone to know and understand that it isn't acceptable to be hurt at work. It, it is a cost of doing business to factor safety into your everyday work experience. It's not an add-on if we have time. It's not a we'll do it if the government comes and makes us do that. It has to become a cost of doing business every day. Organizers say they have already surpassed their fundraising goal of $30,000.